Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be taking a look at layers and visibility within Blender to allow you to show and hide objects within your scene using visibility and then also how you can group objects and show and hide them using layers. They are two different techniques and we're going to be breaking both of those down and showing you how to use them along with all of the different keyboards uh, with all the different keyboard shortcuts to allow you to do so efficiently. So what I'm going to do is start off by just showing you how to show and hide a particular object. So by default, we've got this cube within our scene and I've currently got it selected. If you haven't got it selected, just right click on your mouse to select the object. And from there, if you want to hide it, just press H. And what this is going to do is stop you being able to see it. However, the item has not been deleted. If I press Alt and H, it is going to bring it back. It is going to show you all of the items which you have got hidden. Now, in the case where you have two items in your scene, what I'm going to do is go to my Create tab, click anywhere with my left click to tell it where to go, and create another cube. If I wanted to hide both of these, so hold down shift and left, uh, shift and right click to select both of these and press H. If I was to press Alt and H, it's going to bring both of them back. If you don't want that, what you need to do to show and hide one particular item, what you need to do is simply go to the scene outliner in the top right. Now bear in mind, I've just made this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. So what you can do is select a specific cube and then next to it, you've got a visibility icon in the shape of an eye. If I click this, it is going to toggle it. So if the eye icon is lit up, it is visible. If it's grayed out, it is not visible. So having said that, I can select a particular object and show and hide that. And if you want to hide an object, you can simply just right click it and press H and press Alt H to show all items which are currently hidden. So that is pretty much everything for showing and hiding an object with simple visibility. It's really straightforward. H to hide it, Alt H to bring everything back. Or if you want a little bit more control, you can just select a particular item in the scene outliner in the top right hand corner. So if you guys need to work with just a few objects, that method is going to be better. However, if you're working on groups of objects that you might want to hide or show, the best way to do that is going to be with layers. Now, by default within Blender, you have access to 20 layers that you can work with. So you have got 10 at the top, 10 at the bottom, and they're really easy to switch through. So by default, you are going to be in layer one and you can see this at the top. And if you haven't already seen this layers panel within Blender, it is just above your timeline. And with your layers, it starts off with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you've got 10 at the top, 10 at the bottom. You can tell which layer you're in by the darker color. So you can see here by default, if you haven't selected anything else, the first layer in the top left of your layers panel is going to be darker. That is telling you that that is the currently active layer. That is what is being shown on the screen. If I was to select the second layer by simply clicking it, you are going to notice everything is going to go away. And the reason why it's disappearing is because the objects are on the first layer. Now, if you need to know which objects have items in them and which ones don't, you can tell really easily. So you'll notice that first layer in the top left hand corner there has got a dot in it. That is just telling us that there is items within that layer. If there is not a dot in it, that layer is going to be completely empty and you are not going to be able to see anything. If you select your item 
So if we select this cube here, you will notice that that layer, the dot within it is going to go orange. What that is telling us is that the active object is within that layer. So your selection is within that particular layer. So let's say you wanted to work on two layers at once. You can do this really, really easily by simply holding down shift and then pressing the second layer. If you want to work with three, keep holding down shift and you can add in as many layers as you want to show as many as you want. If you let go of shift and then just select one layer, it's going to go back to just showing you the one layer. And that's really easy. What you can also do to switch between your layers in addition to clicking them is just by typing the number on your keyboard. So within your number row at the top of your keyboard, not your number pad, you can press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And you'll notice that it's going to shift us through the first 10 layers at the top there. So we can just access these by pressing the number keys. If you want to show multiple of them using a keyboard shortcut, that is also really straightforward. Hold down shift and then the numbers that you want to show. So I just pressed one, two, three, four, five while holding down shift. And now it is showing me the first five layers. What you can also do to access the second row of layers is really straightforward. So you can either select them, or if you want to access them via a keyboard shortcut, you hold down Alt, and then the number, so 1, 2, 3, sorry, so Alt, and then 1, Alt, and then 2, Alt, and then 3, Alt, and then 4, Alt, and 5. So essentially, by holding down Alt, you can then access that second row. If you want to show multiple of that second row, you're holding down shift, alt, and then one, two, three, four, and five. So alt, shift, and you should be able to get the picture. So with what that one selected, shift, alt, one, two, three, four, five, and you can now see we've got the bottom row selected. And if you let go of that, you can just switch between your layers. So now that we know how to switch between the different layers, I'm going to show you how to move objects between those layers. Now, first and foremost, I could select my second layer and simply just create something in here, like a cube. But let's say you want to move an object you've already got. So I've got this cube and I want to move it to object or to layer number three. I can do this by pressing the M key on my keyboard. So press M to move it. And then you're going to get this little panel that's going to pop up and ask you, where do you want to move that cube to? And I can choose any one of these 20 layers. So I'm going to move this to layer three. You will notice it is going to disappear and it is now being moved to that third layer. What you can also do when you're trying to move it, instead of clicking something, you can press M. And then you can just press one, two, three, four, five to select the layer, or you can press Alt and then any one of those keys to move it. So you've got full control of telling it which layer you want it to go to, and you can do that using your keyboard. So hopefully you guys are a little bit more familiar with layers within Blender now, and you should be happy and comfortable with either moving them by hand or doing it with your keyboard shortcuts. What you should also be able to do is to switch between the layers really easily with the keyboard shortcuts for the first and the second row as well. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.